And closer to home, a government backbencher who holds a seat in Sydney's west says he's facing criticism from people in his electorate over the government's position on Gaza. Craig Laundy, who holds the seat of Reid, where 18% of residents are Muslim, has told the Financial Review that voters are telling him they want the government to say more on Gaza. And Craig Laundy is speaking here to Marius Benson. Craig Laundy, what are people telling you in your electorate? Marius, irrespective of religion, people are telling me that they want peace in Gaza. You are also reported as saying that people are angry and they're not happy with the government's position. They, I am, we're back in the electorate at the moment on midwinter break. Uh, I am out and about every day. I'm being stopped. I, people want to know two things. They want to know what my view is, which I'm very happy to explain to them. And they want to know why aren't we as a government saying more. And when you are asked why the government is not saying more, what do you say? I say that's my job. My job as a local member is to listen to the concerns of my electorate and to represent them faithfully to the powers that be, which is what I'm doing on a daily basis, feeding back the fact that the people of Reed in Western Sydney are very much in favour of us being involved in some way, uh, you know, raising our voice to argue for peace on behalf of the people in Gaza. So are you saying, when you give feedback to your government colleagues, are you saying the people of Reed are happy with what the government is saying on Gaza or not? I am saying that the people of Root expect us to say more. They expect us to advocate openly and publicly for peace in Gaza. And when you're asked your own views, what do you say? I, I don't stop at, at peace. Peace, the ceasefire is step one. What I explain to people is that uh, you know, I feel, uh, I've been in this job now for 10 months and I, I've watched closely, I feel that uh, defaulting, and both sides are guilty of this, defaulting to the words that we want a two-state solution is one thing, but what I want is to see something practical that goes with that. We've just seen an example through the resolution at the Security Council with MH17 of how we can use our soft diplomatic power. I think we should be working... At, this, this has been a problem since 1948, this region. And we need to use our soft diplomatic power and we need to say more. Does that mean you believe that the Prime Minister, the government, is not saying enough right now? What I believe is that we as a party, and it should be bipartisan as well, we as a, as a country should be using our voice at the UN to advocate for a resolution acknowledging Palestinian statehood that we can vote yes to. You're also uh, quoted in the uh, Finn Review as uh, describing yourself as pro-Palestinian. Is that your self-description? Uh, look, Marius, it is, but an unusual one. I'm pro-Palestinian, I'm pro-Israel, because I'm pro-peace. And, and I am absolutely typical of my electorate. My electorate, uh, Philip mentioned 18% Islamic. It is also 47.5% Catholic, of which I am one. And as a result... We, you know, social justice runs strongly through the people's veins in Reed, and we don't like seeing what we're seeing in Gaza. We want it stopped, but we don't just want a ceasefire. We want a long-term resolution to the problem. What's your reading of Gaza? Do you believe blame is shared equally between the Palestinians and Israelis? Marius, my take on Gaza is that the two sides are Hamas and Israel in the conflict, and the collateral damage, the innocent victims, are men, women and children. And, it, and in great numbers, it is a tragedy what is unfolding there. I am a father of three. I saw some vision the other night of a father being told with his three kids beside him that by a doctor in a hospital, the mother didn't make it. That is heartbreaking. It must stop. And the people of Reed are telling it, saying it to me loud and clear. Do you believe that the government will pay a price in terms of losing support amongst Islamic Muslim voters in your electorate and other electorates because of the position it's stated on the Gaza conflict? Whether we pay a price in votes, to me, is inconsequential. What I am interested in doing as the member for Reid is advocating on behalf of the people of Reid. I am saying what I'm saying because I believe this to be right. Whether I lose votes, win votes is inconsequential. My concern is the people of Gaza. 
Craig Laundie, thank you very much. Thank you.